he shot 16 times at this individual and then shot himself in the head. Okay, so this week we're working on a story about an NYPD officer who shot his wife's 20-year-old boyfriend in this terrible love triangle that was going on up in Orange County, New York. I got the assignment just before eight o'clock in the morning. The assignment just said, what happened? An off-duty officer was involved in a love triangle and he shot his wife's boyfriend. There was also a mention of he followed them to a hotel. That's all it said. And all we had was the address of the actual scene, which was a Buffalo Wild Wings off of Route 211. There wasn't a lot of information being given to us. The police weren't giving us a, a timeline of exactly what happened. At that point, they weren't giving out any information really at all. So we had to piece this together with whatever physical evidence we could find in the area and whatever witnesses we could find in the area. Those can be hard to come by, so you gotta act fast and preserve what you can while you can. I knew based on the distances involved, this was gonna be a race. So I jumped in my car and headed up there. I got there just before 9.30, knowing just what I just relayed. The first thing I did was look for tape, look for a scene, there was nothing. And I looked around and what I could see was they shared a parking lot with La Quinta Inn. So I walked over to Buffalo Wild Wings. I walked into the restaurant. I walked around. I spoke to the manager there. He said, uh, it happened last night. It happened outside. So I went outside and I'm looking around and I'm thinking he shot 16 times at this individual and then shot himself in the head. When you shoot 17 rounds, there's gonna be physical evidence somewhere. So as I walked into the parking lot and I was walking around, I see a man standing over by his car, perplexed, talking on the phone. So I walked over and I waited for him to be finished with his phone call and I talked to him, his name was Jeffrey Braden and he was in the Buffalo Wild Wings while the shooting happened. And I quickly came to that assumption because he was standing next to a car that had a big bullet that had hit the ground, come up spinning, and bounced off his car, but it took all the paint off and really pushed into the bumper. You could actually see the indent of the bullet. I talked with Mr. Braden for quite a while, and he gave me exactly what he saw and exactly what he heard. And he was one of the only people who walked like right onto the scene, and that gave us the first idea of what the scene was looking like. After our witness had given a basic layout, it was kind of hard to relay that to the reader, exactly, you know, how this laid out. So what I did was, I took my phone, and I just shot some video. So the cars came to rest right here. He came running up this way right here, and you can still see the blood is in the second and third parking spot right here. And there's the entrance to Buffalo Wild Wings. There's the La Quinta Inn. And I just shot some video for my production team at the Post so that they could put together like a little infographic so that you could see exactly how all of this stuff happened in such proximity. You could basically, you know, get it clear in your head with just one glance instead of trying to figure out how this was coming to be. The pictures I took when I was there, the blood still on the ground, shell casings all over, all of that was gone within an hour. The individual I spoke to, as soon as he saw all the news trucks and stuff coming, him and his car were out of there shortly after he talked to me, within minutes. Then the actual scene of where the two bodies were, the restaurant or somebody had come by shortly after I saw it and washed it down, got rid of any of the evidence of where it was. So the physical scene was being cleared away very quickly. So I needed to act and, and to kind of preserve what I could see so you can get a hand on exactly what happened. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't want to miss any of the stories we're running on for the New York Post, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Thank you.